It's Chris here from OPMC and I just wanted to do a quick update for you on our Odoo plugin for WooCommerce. Our Odoo plugin for WooCommerce has seen really fast growth. We're getting lots of people interested in it and this has resulted in lots of new ideas and feedback that we've had. So I wanna address some of those things in this video, just to keep you updated on what's going on. So uh, we've had several releases recently, uh, upgrading the plugin and um, the oldest of those um, in July, mid July was to add batch syncing, which I think is uh, something that a lot of people were asking for. And we then did a release uh, towards the end of July, which was dealing with um, various little errors that people were having. And uh, about 8th of August, we've released a new release again, which uh, addressed um, some issues with usability of the settings. So one of the things that we had assessed was that, some, you know, when you are using a product, you just want it to be nice and clear and easy to use the first time and easy to understand how to configure the settings. So we've done a big, big review on that and we've made some changes. We've added some wording and descriptions as well. We just made it easier to use for a first time user. So if you are using it for the first time or you've been using it for a while, it's just clearer on what all these various different settings are because there are a lot of settings and we just want it to be nice and easy to use. So that was the uh, latest release. We have three releases, three active releases in the pipeline. And I just wanted to go through some of what those thing, those releases are addressing. So the first one relates to HPOS uh, requirements from WooCommerce and, and making that compatible. Um, that's something, if you don't know what that means, then that doesn't matter, um, but it's just a, an improvement and, and just making it more compatible. Uh, so that HPOS works. Um, so that is uh, imminent release on that. Uh, we've also got uh, some upgrades in relation to some um, more bugs that people have noticed and improving the usability again. Um, and we're just really doubling down on what the main issues that people are having are. So one of those things was in relation to uh, syncing, importing and exporting. And we found that in some cases, customers were having issues with import-export. Uh, and we've done a deep dive into those issues, done a deep dive review, uh, which we don't normally do, um, except when, uh, when these sort of things happen. So uh, we've gone really in depth on that particular issue and we've discovered some issues um, that happen for certain people in certain uh, situations. So those have been added to a forthcoming release and we hope to have that released soon too. So look out for that. Um, so the next thing that we are going to be putting out in a major release soon is around logging. So if you're a developer, you want to be able to look at the logs and see what the causes of some of the issues are that you're having, see if they're related to the plugin. And at the moment with the plugin, uh, that's limited in a way. It logs information about uh, bugs that are coming up, but it doesn't log uh, some of the other things which would be helpful for problem solving, such as uh, in relation to import export, where we've had a lot of feedback about the product. So what we're really looking for there is um, to add some features and functionality which are going to log things around product syncing um, and, and other syncing that you will be doing. So rather than just logging errors, it will also tell you what it's been doing. So if it's, if it's synced eight products, for example, then that will be in the log and that's going to help you, that's going to help your developer 
and also us to help problem solve if you are having challenges because we will be able to get um, really into the weeds if we need to um, to be able to see exactly what was going on when you had the issues and it just helps for faster problem solving. So I want to thank everyone for your support of our WooCommerce plugin for Odoo and we're excited to get these releases out. We're working through them uh, as fast a pace that we can and making sure that there's some good quality control there as well and, um, and hope to have some more updates soon. Uh, one more thing I'd like to say is that uh, we have uh, got your feedback about variable product support and we are working on a solution for that. That will be in a future release and we'll keep you updated. We're really excited about what we can do there too. Well, that's all from me. Uh, if you would like to contact us with any questions, please do so. We're here to support you and um, we look forward to a long-term relationship. Thanks.